What's going on, chicken friends? It's Donna Lil from the Coop Scoop, and I'm out here checking on all my girls. And I think it was day before yesterday. Yesterday, I put out a short, and I was talking about my youngsters and how they decided to fly over the fence. And sometimes you got to get creative and make solutions of your own. I'm out here making sure everybody's still in the yard because I'm not through fixing the problem. But um, when you have something like that happen and you have a property with fence, now they're not going over this fence, they're going over the chain link fence. If you have a property in a fence as big as this, it's not that easy to fix the problem and it's not that cheap to fix the problem. So let me show you what I did because I did have to get a little bit creative and uh, I think I've come up with a solution that it's not going to cost me a single dime. Now, I know sometimes it's hard to get the lay of the land when you're watching a video of somebody else's property, but this is a small fenced area. And we put this up years ago when I was fostering dogs, and it was so I would have a little area. They could come out the back door here, and they would be fenced in. In case I had a dog that was skittish, I wouldn't have to try to catch them in this large of an area. So when we let the pullets out to free range for good, they were 11 weeks old. So they are gonna be 19 weeks old tomorrow. So it's been a couple, you know, it's been like eight weeks now since they've been out. From the beginning, these little brats have tested the fence here at least a couple times a week, they would hop up onto this fence. So they're still in the yard, not a problem, but I knew it could become a problem if they decided to go to the outer fence. And we have chain link along the side over there. And then we have a small section of chain link up here. Now I don't wanna shut this area of the yard off to the chickens because they love being over here. They've got all these nice bushes to hide under and the very first time they went over the fence was right here and I was in the house and I had the windows open and I could hear them up here because we have this magnolia tree I could hear them out here foraging and you can hear how like the ground is really crunchy because these leaves are down all the time I could tell they weren't where they were supposed to be. And I looked out and they were under the magnolia tree, right over there. And because there were three of them that went over the fence, they weren't scared about being out. They were perfectly fine with being out because they had little friends. So I had this, and I know it's a little hard to see unless I get really close, but this is garden fencing. So I've just attached it to the fence that tree stuck a piece of wood up there it's not pretty i know it's not but this is a temporary solution to a temporary problem and so that is what i've done on this smaller section of fencing here but my bigger problem is over here because i shut the gate to this i got them back in shut the gate ushered them through this gate and went and put the um, garden fencing up. The entire time that I was putting the garden fencing up, I could see them pacing the fence. Because if you have chickens, you know, once they discover they can do something that you don't want them to do, but that they want to do, I'm just gonna let y'all look at Lindy while I'm talking because she is ridiculous. Um, they are like bound and determined. So they were pacing this fence, looking up at the top, like, you know, if I have to climb or fly over that to get back to that so I can go out, that's what I'm gonna do. As soon as I let them back in, they immediately went back to the fence. Not a single one of them tried it. They just looked up and could see that the fence was now blocked. And they were very disappointed and they quickly gave up. Now, that particular day, I had a lot of things to do. <laughs> in the house and so I realized you know or I knew they have also hopped up on this 
area of the fence when we had that storm and all that wind we lost a lot of smaller limbs so we're working on getting those ready to burn and some of them to keep so we essentially have a bamboo forest up at the front of our property i knew i didn't have enough of the garden fencing so we had to get a little creative now i don't want bamboo in my backyard if any of you have bamboo on your property you know it is incredibly invasive i mean you can have one bamboo shoot grow in your yard and the next year you're going to have a thousand so we cut this down and i just took the bushy part of it and lined my fence with it because as soon as they realized they couldn't get out over there they came back to over here and hopped over the fence here and this is also our property but it goes way back i don't know if we'll even be able to see how far back it goes in there it's also fenced but it goes way back in there if you can see our fence goes only so far and then there's other chain link fence the people back there have a pit bull um, there's somebody that has another large maybe like a mastiff type of dog i do not want my chickens walking past that hey girl what you doing because i don't want there's not any dogs in my neighborhood that have actually seen my chickens thank goodness i don't want that to even get started so instead of spending more money on more of the garden stuff that i probably won't use again and it's not going to stay up we just cut some of the bamboo so it's i don't think it's really translating well on camera just how bushy this looks but it's flexible enough to where if they even try to jump up on it it's just going to sink back down to the ground so here is my creative solution to keep these little crazies in the fence so we put the bamboo up along the fence line and i don't have it on the other on the front part of the fence yet super simple to do i just sort of wove it into the fence or zip tied the bigger pieces to the fence they came back over here and looked and realized there was a barrier that was way taller because these are probably 10 feet tall. I know you can't see it because the woods are behind it probably, but these are very, very tall. But yeah, they're over twice the height of this and they gave up. So super simple fix to keep them in. Um, I know not everybody has a bamboo forest <laughs> in the front of their yard. We had some really um, obnoxious neighbors years ago and I caught them fighting their pit bulls and I told them I was going to call the authorities and they planted in their backyard this bamboo which of course came into my yard and it's literally an entire forest now so uh, because of that now I have all of this available to me and I you know I use it for different things I've used it for roost bars and stuff like that but this is going to do the trick and I know if you lived in a neighborhood where you, people could see your fence, you might not get away with something like this. But if you have neighbors that are okay with you having chickens, you could probably say to them, you know, I'm gonna be putting something up just temporarily while my pullets and, you know, cockerels grow. Because once these girls get a little bit bigger, they're not gonna do this anymore. That's another reason that I like having big chickens because once they get to, you know, their full weight, I don't even think they think it's worth it to try to go over the fence. So when every group of chickens that I've ever had has attempted this at some point, when um, I started the channel, Ruby and Hazel, um, Mabel and Amelia, my uh, Easter egg that we lost, um, those four are my smallest chickens. And they made it a daily event to try to go over the fence. And they always tried back here where they could go in the woods. Fortunately though, for me, it would always just be one at a time. And as soon as they would go over the fence, they would freak out, you know, and go like, oh my gosh, I've lost all my friends. I need to back in, you know, abort mission, <laughs> abort mission. Not these guys, because when they went, they went as a threesome and they were like, I've got friends. I'm golden. I will be barging around here in the woods. When I had to go get them from the woods, Mark wasn't home. It was not fun. I mean, I was out of breath by the time I got back in the house, but I did manage to get them back in here. 
But that is my rigged up solution for the moment. And like I said, once they reach, even though you see them on the videos and they look like they're the same size as the, the hens, they don't, they don't even weigh half of what the hens weigh because they haven't filled out yet. So once they get filled out and they get more still comfortable becoming a flock, because right now they still don't really hang out a lot with the hens. They're still sort of two separate flocks. You'll see them in the same areas together, but the eight of them kind of just stick to themselves. So with that, uh, I know once they, and it happens every single time I integrate flocks, once they get comfortable and they feel like they're a single family, then they're going to be, you know, they're, they're going to totally give up the uh, desire to get out of the fence. But right now, my priority is always the safety of my youngsters and my older girls. You know, I don't want them out of my fence at all. The good thing for me is every fence that they go out, they're in another fence. Even if they got over my privacy fence back there, we have another fence behind it. <laughs> so they are kind of locked in, but at the same time, I don't want them where I can't see them. I am a helicopter mom. So that was my solution. If you find yourself in the same kind of situation where you have a three or four foot fence and you need something, I do have netting. Um, I am always hesitant to use something like that because I do worry that they might fly up and get caught in it. However, I do have one small section where there is some netting up, but I have put something, some of the bamboo pieces where they could see it, but they see the netting. Their eyesight is incredible, so they definitely already see the netting. They're, they can see it easier than I can. So they have, I, I, I left it up there just so I could watch them and see if they noticed it and would not try again, and they didn't. So um, I don't want to do that everywhere though. So I am going to put some more bamboo over there um, on the side where, let me turn around so I don't have to turn the, it's like just right back behind me. There's some more fencing there and I'm going to get that put up there. But right now it is all good again. Everybody is where they're supposed to be and they have behaved themselves. So hopefully we won't have to deal with this anymore. And I'll leave that up, like I said, just until, you know, uh, they get a little bit more weight on them and I can tell that they're not going to try that again. But sometimes they get in a bad habit and you just have to figure out a way to break that habit whatever it is so i hope you guys are enjoying our content if you are stick around and i know a lot of you commented that i saw several people comment that they missed the giveaway hit the notification bell and subscription subscribe button because if you have the notification bell on then you will always be notified because we're definitely going to do another giveaway and i'd like to do it before christmas so that way you won't miss out on it this next time and you can enter a drawing. Have a fantastic day, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.